Hello and welcome. In this lesson, as I said, we will look at the trading losses. I've already made the pro forma for you, but we will look at the pro forma later. For now, we will look at the notes first. So could you please move to uh, your notes? I hope you have already downloaded it. I will also share the screen with you. Here you go. I will share the screen with you. And that's page 36 of your notes. And it says uh, chapter 8, uh, trading losses. Right? The first one uh, of the loss is called carry forward trading loss. So loss is a loss, you know, under, you understand it when you, you either have a profit or a loss. When you have a profit, you will have to pay tax on it. When you have a loss, although you will not have to pay tax, but HMRC also gives you something called relief on the loss. So HMRC says if you incur a loss this year, you might carry this loss forward to set off against future trading profits. So in the future, if you incur, a, if you make a loss, if sorry, if you make a profit, then you can reduce that profit by this loss to pay less tax on reduced profit. So that's what it is called trading loss. First one of the losses is a carry forward trading loss, which can only be set off against trading income. Now, income could be of many sorts, trading income, uh, property income, or blah, blah, blah. They could be of many sorts. You might have salary as well. You might have capital gains uh, income as well. So there could be many. But here it says carry forward trading loss can only be set off against trading income. So it cannot be set off against any other income. A trading loss is not relieved may be carried forward to set off against first available trading profit of the future years. Losses may carry forward for as many number of years until the loss is relieved. Right? In the, in, in beneath that it says it can only be carried forward against trading income. Right? Now the second one is a, a trading loss against net income. Uh, trading losses may be, uh, it is not underlined, please make sure if you have a hard copy, please make sure you un underline this one. Uh, trading losses may be set off against a total net income of current year and in addition to, uh, and in addition or instead relief may be claimed against net income of preceding years. So this loss can be set off against this year net income or the previous year. So it says net income, it is not saying trading profits. So it means net income means any income, right? So trading losses may be set off against a total net income of current year and in addition or instead relief may be claimed against net income of preceding year. So you can uh, relief it against current year or the previous year, whichever you want. A claim for loss must be made by 31st January, which is approximately 22 months after the end of tax year of loss. Taxpayer cannot choose the loss uh, amount of loss to be relieved therefore a personal allowance may be wasted right now you know the personal allowance so it says that although you can relieve the loss but you cannot do like this uh, to relieve some loss in this year and some loss in next year why are you doing it just to save the personal allowance all right so you are uh, reducing you are relieving the loss up to the amount of personal allowance then you are not utilizing all of the loss you are carrying it forward next year you can't do that if you want to relieve the loss, you will have to use it in the first year, full in first year, then whatever is left, then move to ne next year. If the personal allowance is wasted, then that is wasted. You cannot save the personal allowance. Yeah, it will also, it will be wasted. However, what you can do is you have the option to leave this year. If the personal allowance is being wasted this year, you can leave this year. You can uh, set off against the uh, future profit or against any, any other year. All right. So that's that's the option which is uh, provided to you. Then it says, however, the taxpayer may choose to claim full relief in the year of loss, and then the remaining relief against preceding year, full year, uh, full relief in the preceding year, and the remaining in the year of loss. That's what I said. I said uh, uh, you cannot do like this. That partial, some of the loss you may relieve in here, and some of them in the next year. However, what you can do is you can leave this year and you can uh, set it off against any other year. That's up to you. Where loss relief is claimed against uh, a net income of the tax year of loss of previous year, the taxpayer may claim a future relief to set off loss against his chargeable income before annual exemption of the tax year. So you don't know what capital allowances, uh, capital uh, gains are, uh, but it is saying it is just saying you can use it for against capital gains as well. So just assume that capital gains is just a part of income. We will see in the next lecture we are not too far from capital gains. 
we will see in the uh, next lecture or in a couple of lectures we will see capital gains as well but for now a uh, capital gains is just simply a portion of income when you sell an asset more than what it cost it is a gain it is a profit so you can set against that as well right then it says trading loss is first set off against a uh, total net income and only excess loss is set against chargeable gains then it says a uh, trading loss not relieved in any of the um, any other way may be carried forward to set off against first available trading profit of the future years so these are the notes which you will study on your own i cannot make it uh, i cannot feed it in your in your mind however i can just tell you the easiest way to learn it that's why i made the tables on the notes as well and i made the table on the board which i will look at later but for now you can make uh, you can check these tables it says on the tables on the left side it says uh, current year against total net income then previous year against total net income and whatever is left you can carry it forward or what you can do is previous year first then current year and then carry forward that's up to you on the right side it says current year against total net income and then current year chargeable gains then previous year total net income and previous year's capital gains and then you can carry it forward or you can do the previous year first both net income and chargeable gains and then current year and uh, the remaining one you can carry it forward right now on the next page it is uh, trading losses in the early years of trade now trading losses of early years of trade early years of trade are the years when you started your business so when you have just started your business that is your starting period of of trade so uh, if trading in on the notes please if the trading loss is incurred in any of the first four tax years uh, first four tax years of trade then the trading loss can be carried for carried back against total net income of previous three tax years on five four basis so if you just started the business and first four years you uh, you have been incurring some losses you can uh, set off them losses against total net income of the previous three tax years on FIFO basis. Now you know what FIFO and LIFO is, first in, first out. So you will have to deal the first years first, then the later years, right? And the last of the losses are uh, last of the losses is a uh, uh, terminal loss relief. Now trading loss losses in the last twelve months of the trade are called terminal loss relief. Now this is a little bit complicated. Uh, uh, this is a little bit complicated loss. Uh, you might uh, feel this one confusing. This is the only loss which is little bit confusing. Not much, but little bit. So here you can please make sure on the notes. Uh, please read it carefully with me. If the trade ceases, then terminal loss of last twelve months of the trade can be carried back against the trading income of the previous three tax years on life or basis. Now say for example you have been trading and you have been incurring some losses. Now then you started to think and then you started uh, thinking to cease the business when you cease the business you will have to see last 12 months of the trade because now your business is finished the last 12 months of the trade are called a uh, terminal loss relief so in last 12 mon months of the trade we'll have to see uh, how much loss we have incurred that is called a uh, last 12 months and terminal loss relief so if the uh, trade ceases then lo terminal loss of the last 12 months of the trade can be carried back against trading income of previous three tax years on LIFO basis. Now this time terminal loss is on LIFO basis because it is of last for last uh, last period when the business is going to cease. Whereas uh, first uh, where the FIFO was in, in the previous one where the uh, early year loss relief. Uh, so first four years of trade that was five on FIFO basis. Whereas in terminal loss you may uh, add, uh, you may set off on a LIFO basis all right now the formula to calculate is given below it says trading income in the last 12 months of the trade uh, it, first of all what you do is uh, it, there is calculation of term, terminal loss all right so you take net trading loss in the last 12 months of the trade you first take that last 12 months of the trade uh, then you will have to see that how is the loss incurred so obviously last 12 months of the trade will have 6 April in it. Excuse me. So last 12 months of the trade will have 6 April in it. So you will have to see, you will have to put a, uh, put a mark on the 6th of April. Then that is 6 April. What is before that? What is after that? So you will have to divide them between two. So it says post 6 April and pre 6 April. So in both of cases, if 
profit is incurring then it will uh, be zero and uh, in in post six april as well if the profit is you will write it down as zero if it is a loss then you will write down the loss but if it is profit you will just write down zero all right then what you will do is you will have to deduct the overlap profits you know what overlap profits are you will deduct the overlap profits and that will be our terminal loss all right now you might feel it confusing i will explain to you again on the board as well right but uh, uh, this is our terminal loss now in the choices beneath that it uh, it tells you exam tip this is choices when you're making the choice between losses always think about these three notes earlier loss relief is better than future loss relief uh, because it is a p6 level exam and examiner will expect you not only to do calculation because it is hardly uh, a calculation paper most of the students think that it will be a calculation based paper however it is more of commentary than of calculation or you can say 50 50 so these three exam tips are very very important as as far as uh, these trading losses are concerned you could uh, expect a 15 mark question as well i mean this is extremely important topic so you never know you might expect uh, you might see a 15 mark question just on trading profit so you will have to do the calculations and you will have to do the commentary as well you will have to choose between uh, the loss options so examiner will ask you which loss option is better so you will have to make the choice now these three notes will help you first of all it says earlier loss relief is better than future you know that it's better to relieve the loss earlier than future you not uh, you're not sure about the future are you the next one it says best loss relief is in which the maximum tax is saved so obviously this is obvious as well uh, best loss relief is the one which uh, in which you can relieve most loss uh, much of the loss uh, you can save much of the tax sorry and the last one it says best relief is the one in which less uh, personal allowance is wasted so if less personal allowance is wasted that is also a better option all right so that was uh, i think that was it our that was our uh, eighth chapter and that is it our eighth chapter that is end and now could you please move to the board please with me uh, as i will uh, go through with this uh, uh, table which i've made for you now on the table i've uh, write it down as timeline so that is timeline then i've written down different losses and uh, in which case we can incur uh, we can claim loss all right so in the timeline first of all is uh, start of the trade it is start of the trade now start of the trade is when you have started the trade all right when you have started the business now first loss it says loss carried forward against trading profit of future years when you have started the business and uh, if you have incurred a loss you can carry forward the loss uh, against trading profit of the future years can you carry forward it says yes yes you can carry forward if it is start of the trade and you can carry forward the loss yes you can then it say, says second one normal trading years if these are normal trading years uh, and normal trading year means it is not a start it is neither a start nor the end so it is the between years so if it is normal trading years can you carry forward uh, yes we can carry forward against tp means trading profits you can carry forward uh, against trading profit of future years right whereas if it is end of the trade i hope you would appreciate the fact when it is end of the trade you cannot uh, carry forward the loss can you because it is end of the trade and there won't be any trading profit after that because you have ceased the trading so it is uh, you cannot carry forward because you won't have any trading profit you have ceased the trade so uh, it says no you cannot carry forward if it is end of the trade so if it if it is end of the trade you cannot carry forward the loss uh, against trading profit of the future years because you have ceased trading there won't be any trading profit the next one of the loss it says year of loss against net income or total gains now year of loss what does it mean it means the current year so if you have incurred a loss in the current year right then can you in, uh, if you have incurred a loss in current year then what you can do is you can adjust it against net income and or a total gain so if you in, if i have incurred a trading loss in current year what i can do is i can 
a set of this trading loss against net income of current year and capital gains. Although I have a trading loss, but I might have other income, say property income or capital gains. So I can set off current trading loss against either capital gains or property income or salary. All right. So if I have a current loss, I can set off against against net income or total gains. All right. Now, if it is start of the trade, yes, we can do it. We can carry it forward against a uh, net income. Then if it is normal trade or end of the trade in all cases uh, yes we can uh, set off against net income or total gains uh, sorry um, net income uh, or total gains yes so in all cases yes we can uh, carry you can we can set off now the third case is says preceding years uh, preceding year means previous year loss so if you have a loss not in current year in the previous year so preceding year loss, now ca carry back against net income or total gains, right? Net income or total gains. Now, if you have a loss in the previous year, can you carry it back against net income or total gains? If it is start of the trade, can we carry it back against net income or total gains? Yes, we can. Now, you might start to think if it is start of the trade, we have just started the trade. How can we carry it back? Although you have started the trade, but you might well have salary, you might well have property income, you might well have capital gains. You just have started the trade, but you might have other sources of income. So it does not say against a trading profit, it says against net income, right? So preceding years uh, carried back against net income or total gains. If it is start of the trade, you can carry back against net income or capital gains. And even if it is a normal trading period or end of the trade, still you can uh, carry back against net income or total gains, right? Now the fourth one, and uh, it says early years loss relief. Now early year loss, loss relief, uh, sorry, early year loss relief. You have uh, uh, just seen on your notes on the screen, early year loss relief is the loss of first four years of trade, right? So first four years of trade, it says here as well, early year loss, first four years. So you have started the business and in the first four years, you have incurred some loss. All right. So in that case, relief can be made three years carried back. So uh, the loss can be carried back three, uh, three for three years, but only on five four basis because it is early year loss relief. Whereas the last one is terminal loss and it is life for basis. In this one, uh, early year loss relief, you can do it on FIFO basis and three years you can carry it back. If it is start of the trade, uh, it says carry it back. Yes, we can carry it back. It says uh, loss first four years relief, three years carried back on FIFO basis. Yes, we can, even if it is start of the trade because it is not against net income, it is against, uh, sorry, it is not against trading profit, it is against net income. Now, if it is uh, in the normal trading periods, if it is in the normal trading periods, then can we do that? No, we cannot do that. Why can't we do that? Because it is early year loss relief. It is not normal loss relief. It is loss relief of first four years. All right. Please make sure you try to differentiate it. It is not normal loss. It is loss of early years, first four years. So when first four year loss relief can only be set off against this one in the start of the trade, it cannot be set off in the normal trading periods. Why can't we do that? Because it is not normal trading period. It is not, uh, it is start of the trade. It is early year loss. All right. Same applies with the end of the year. It is not applied in this one either because it is early year loss relief. It will only be applicable in the start of the trade. All right. It is not in the middle of the trade or the end of the trade. Then it says the terminal loss relief. Uh, can it be applied on the start of the trade? No, it is terminal loss, loss of the last 12 months, all right? So it, it won't apply in normal cases either. It will only be applied in the end of the year and because it is terminal loss, loss of the last 12 months of the trade and it will be, uh, you know, carried forward on life or basis, lost in first out, all right? So that was our table of, uh, uh, you know, um, loss reliefs. Now let me show you something here. 
if we talk about the terminal loss, all right, so that is at our timeline of terminal loss, all right. Now, this is, say, for example, this is January and this is uh, December. Assuming, uh, assuming this, this is our timeline, assuming that this is our terminal loss, this is last 12 months, last 12 months. Assuming these are our last 12 months from January to December, what we will have to see is, we will have to see what, where is the five, uh, where is the 5th of April. Assuming 5th of April is in here, uh, uh, 5th, 5th of April, I don't know what is wrong with the lightning, something wrong with the lightning, I'm sorry for that. Uh, so where is the 5th of April, assuming 5th of April is here, right, so we will have to see this time, this space here, all right, that is the 5th of April. Now, this, uh, these months are before 5th April and these months are after 5th April. So this area is after 5th April and that area is before 5th April, right? So you will have to differentiate between these two. You will have to divide these months and these months and make them separate. You will have to see if there is a profit in this, this space, in these months. If there is a profit, you will write down zero. If there is profit in these cases as well, you will write down zero. So if profit, then zero if uh, profit. So if profit, then you will just write down zero. Same applies here as well. So if it is profit, uh, if profit, then you will write down just a zero. But however, if it is a loss, then loss will be added. So loss will be added. Whereas if it is a profit, a profit will not be added. Uh, it will be written down as zero. All right. So that is our end of uh, uh, trading loss relief. I hope you, had, you have understood it. Please make sure you note down this table because when exams will be nearer, although they are not too far now as well, but uh, from one, say for example, one week from exam or 10 days from exam, this table will be able to help you not only with calculation but theory as well. Say for example, when you are doing the theory, you can look at this table and you can make yourself comfortable with the theory, all right? Because it covers each and every bit of uh, losses. Although you, these are enough for you, but please make sure you read the notes as well. And uh, please make sure you do the practice on the practice and revision kit. In the next lesson, we will do a small question uh, through, uh, from the exam kit, which will be relevant to trading losses, especially terminal loss, which is a difficult one. So I will show you this bit, how to deal with the terminal loss in the next lecture. Uh, which will be question from past exam paper, uh, updated version from uh, practice and revision kit. All right. So I will see you in the next lecture. Uh, take care and goodbye.